Well, hello everyone. We are back to open these exclusively for the purpose of stocking a future Calico, Kitters, Calico Critter Supermarket store. Um, if we get duplicates, I will make those because those could be used in a bakery, not in the supermarket. That would obviously be a separate store. I mean, let's not be silly. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to open these together with you tonight, and uh, let us do so. I have done a lot of work today, so I feel like I have earned some dopamine treats. All right, let's open them together with uh, Mrs. Rabbit. Currently, her occupation is tender of the plants in the Miniverse Log Cabin. <laughs> but now, she will be overseeing the unboxing of our food goods. All right, let's see which little cafe creations we get. Knowing full well that I plan to not make these into their kits. I plan to keep the ingredients because they're much too precious in their original form. But I still want you to see all of them with me. All right, let's do it. Okay, I continue to attest that the best way to open those is with a knife. I tried on the small ones to see if it was better. It did not help. All right, let's see what we get. If we get duplicates, I'm willing to make those, but in general, I want to keep them intact. So we get, I hear something in there. There's something afoot. Okay, there's something in there. Get rid of that. Let's see if any of these look like they were shredded open. That was so weird in those other balls that were perfectly sealed but had totally opened packaging. That was bizarre to me. Okay, we have something we have to keep cold. Yeah, again, this is a little ripped, but it doesn't look like it was actually opened like the other ones did. I really am amazed at the difference in the amount of products that came in here, so I have to assume that the other ones like didn't have existing molds or something. Uh, let's see, we'll get our utensil out of the way because we always will have a tong and a little beetly bob. It looks like we got a spoon. So that's our first clue as to what this might be. A spoon. Let's see, what is cold in here? This feels like ice cream again. Is it a tub of ice cream? No. No, it's cheese. It's a tub of cheese. I bet we got nachos. Okay, we have a tiny cheese. Very exciting. Okay, there's a few things that have cheese in the group. Yeah, this one's not open. It's just smushed it. There was definitely open ones. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at the beard, Kayo. It's little tiny sprinkles. But it, it's, it's like plastic sprinkles that you would use for making deco art. Oh, look at the little bag. Oh, my God. The packaging of a Pico de Gallo with the snacky snacks. Oh, my God. It's so cute. All right. Well, I think it's clear that we've gotten one of the nachos. This feels like a plate. Let's do our plate because I'm assuming I'll scream. Oh my God, it has the little dip cup in the middle. Oh no. Oh, it's so cute. Ugh, it will be hard to not do one of those, but I'm very committed to my saving of ingredients. Oh, this is gonna be the chips. I can feel it. Oh, they're so cute. They're little blue corn tortilla chips. I can feel them in there. No! Look how cute the packaging is. They appear to be very happy about being dipped in cheese. They are 100% corn. <clears throat> God, that's cute. Come on, buddy. You can focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. There it is. We got it. Oh, man, that's cute. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so we've got nacho chips. That's pretty cute. I could be convinced to make those because we don't have, I don't know that I care for my animals to eat nachos, but oh, it's so cute. Okay, next one. Let's get everybody out of here. I don't know what that feels like. I should stop feeling them. This isn't like a weird, you can't, you can't sense what I'm feeling. So it's not super fun for you as a watcher. Okay, this one has a few less packages it looks like. We have a utensil. Oh, we have a straw. There's a straw. You could do like a little drink cart and have the straws in a cup. If you wanted to. More tongs per use. Goodbye, tongs. And what are you? Oh my god, it's a bag of ice. 
Why aren't you in the keep cold bag? Your ice. Well, I'm not taking these out of here. Look at the little clip on them. You can't see it. It's not focusing. Look at the clip on the bag. I'm a little ice cubes. I'm not going to lie. I bought a tiny freezer on Amazon to put all the little frozen stuff in. It's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Okay, so we have a frozen drink here. And what will be the cold part? The drink, I guess? Yes, we got the orange Sun Fizz Company drink. 100% safety label that tells us about how not to eat resin with our mouths. And this will probably be our cup. And so it is. Oh, it's got a little lid. God damn, that's cute. Oh, you could just put all the little drinks up along a countertop. Oh, now I have to have a whole nother booth in the store. Oh boy. Well, the farmer's market's getting bigger as we speak because now I have to have a drink cart. What? They make carts for the for the calico people and they could all have little different... Oh, sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Just here, please, please hold. They make little carts for them. This feels round. Stop feeling, America. <laughs> Stop fondling the bags. Just open them. Okay, we got that. Oh, I've been chucking out these little drink coasters, I guess. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We're flinging. Okay, this looks like it. I'm guessing this is going to be another drink because it's another one of those. And if it is a dupe of the same drink, I will make it. Even though I really want those bags of ice more than I want the drink made, I'm just saying. Let's see what drink we got. Oh, it is a dupe. It is the orange, the orange drink. All right. Well, we did get a our first duplicate. Oh no, it's not. It's not a duplicate. This is in a mason jar. Look, it's the mini jar instead of a mason jar. Absolutely adorable. All right, it's a different orange drink. Well, that's cool. Well, then what the heck is this? Oh my god, it's a, fr it's, a it's a vanilla float. No. It's a vanilla float drink. Look. No. Oh my good god, it's so cute. Oh no. You can't tell me that that's not cuter like this than it is jammed up all in a cup and then you've covered it in orange goop and then you can't see them anymore. We'll look at the we'll look at the card at the end. All right, so there's another drink. I figured that the drinks would be common. I don't know why, but they have less pieces, was my initial guess. This is one of the very piece-rich ones. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of stuff going on in here. All right, for our last one, we have a Made Fresh. We have a Thank You, Have a Sunny Day. We have a Utensil, another Made Fresh, and a Keep Cold. So let's see what our last kit is. We have no special utensil in particular, just a normal one. We have, let's see. Oh my God, it's a hot dog. No, no. Oh God, it's so cute. Now, I decided in my canon that unless there was a uh, obligate carnivore in the Calico village at the time, a mole might be an obligate carnivore. Shoot. Well, anyway, I, did, I didn't want to have, like, meat products because I'm like, who are the calico critters killing to make their meat products? Are they killing tiny cows? I figured that they could be killing, like, isopods because those are called, like, little cow isopods. But then that seemed really grim because, you know, you still got them killing bugs. So um, in this mystery universe, they're all vegan. So those are vegan hot dogs, but they're freaking adorable. Okay, what else do we have that goes with a hot dog? We have, oh no, look at the little buns. No, no, look at the little bread tab. No, 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 not with the bread tab. Snacky snacks, yumminess, and total fun. Oh my god, the little, yeah, the little hot dogs. But if I take one out of there, then there's only one hot dog in the bag. Shouldn't the hot dogs be in the keep cold bag? Baffled by that. I mean, what what should you keep cold if not the hot dog? Oh, cute. Okay, so this comes with a little balloon dog to place the hot dog in. And it comes with a paper to rest your hot dog upon. Like you're getting it from a food cart. I don't know that I will do that, and I don't know that I love the hot dog. But it's cute. But like the tray, I mean, I, the hot the hot dog is cute. I don't know that I will use the tray. And then what is going to be in here? 
Oh, there's a topping. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we have ketchup. Adorable. A bottle of ketchup. So cute. All right. Well, unfortunately for you guys, we got four brand new ones. <laughs> And they're all adorable in their ingredient form. So I probably will not be making any of these today. However, I argue that these are a fantastic freaking deal for anyone doing any kind of dollhouse miniatures where the scale is not outrageously important to you. Because look, she looks adorable. She could absolutely shop for ice cream like that. The chips would be the right size if she grabbed one with her little bunny hand. So I attest to you that you are rarely going to find a better deal for like one, two, three, four potentially items in every single one. One, two, three in that one, unless you separate the, the straw and put it in a separate cup. But like, you can't get any dollhouse items that look this good four for ten dollars. I challenge you to find them. Show me. I, I invite you to link me in the comments because I don't think they exist. Anyway, I found these absolutely adorable, and I hope you did too. I hope you will come and watch me open the rest of these. I currently have eight more to open with all of you. Oh, we should check off our little booklet just before we go. And while we do, I will sincerely thank you for all of your support and all of your watching. Okay, here is our yellow hot dog. Got him. Oh my god. And then we have the nachos with orange and blue corn. The blue corn nachos we got, which is right down here. And we got this creamsicle float. See? Look, you can't even see the ice creams in there. You'd have to just put one ice cream on the top. And that's just not worth it to me. But we'll just still check it off. And we got the regular orange soda drink. All right, no dupes so far, which is great news, and we love all the ingredients. So we will continue on this quest of a miniverse creatures together, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!